I know people have the attention span of a goldfish nowadays, so I'll keep it short. Ish. Wait, hang on a minute, we've already heard this song. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> now I have your attention, I thought I'd introduce myself. I'm Luke, a filmmaker, now a YouTuber, who was born in Brighton. I grew up in Lewis, and well, by the way, if you don't know where Lewis is, it's that small town in England. With a 12th century castle, a 15th century bookshop, and well, the Anna Cleves house. You know, the old king, Henry VIII, one of his wives. Oh, and it's also where they go mad, absolutely mad for bonfire night. My upbringing was interesting. Let's leave it at that. I lived in this flat and went to this school. I mean, I did used to go to school here. Now it's just a building site. From as young as I can remember, I've always been creative. It's always been the sort of outlet that I've used to express myself. I didn't have any siblings, so creating things was the only way I could really cure my boredom. Currently, I find myself constantly packing my bags, traveling. People ask me, is it for work or is it for fun? I say both. <laughs> or maybe it's just to avoid paying rent. Now you've got a little bit more context, let's really dive into this. This is who I am. I'm a creative who's been in the shadows for some time now. I started out documenting club nights, which led to me documenting the rave culture all up and down the country. Then I landed an internship in Brighton, which led to me getting a role as a junior filmmaker in a film production house. That was the real start of my creative journey. But the only problem with that is I had a boss. One thing leads to another and you're on tour around Europe, filming some of the biggest festivals in the world, working with some of the biggest artists, working on high-end fashion shoots and meeting world-class football players all before the age of 19. You could say I've completed it or that my ego went through the roof at that age. And that's when I moved to Bristol. My time in Bristol gave me insight and newfound inspirations. Music culture, art was the top of my agenda. I started to follow my heart and intuition with my filmmaking. It's also what led me to collaborate with Under the Skin and two years later, we had finished our documentary. Let me tell you now, things don't happen overnight. You've got to be patient in this game. The documentary picked up multiple selections and even gained five awards. It gave me a new insight and a new direction for my work. But don't worry, I'm going to tell you all about that in another video. So don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Creativity comes and flows. It also comes and goes and you don't know when it's going to hit you. It's taken me years to figure out who I am, what my style as a filmmaker is, and for me to stop worrying or comparing myself to other creators in this industry. And over those years, it's taken a lot of mistakes and a lot of hard work and energy, but all of this has been worth it and has made me realize something. I'm obsessed with observing life. And I think that's what makes me a filmmaker, to be able to observe to take things in and to just see the beauty in the mundane. See, it's always been about art, music culture, film, and my creative freedom. This is who I am. I am Luke Ripley, I'm a filmmaker, and I'm now a YouTuber. Come along for the journey.